What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego back with some more boxing. Now, you ever hear some news and it seems too good to be true? So that's exactly what I thought when I heard that Cotto was going to either fight Canelo or Sergio Martinez. I was like, damn, those are both stellar fights. I would love to see both of them. And then Canelo was taken out of the picture, went on to announce Angulo was his part, um, his next opponent. And it left Cotto and Sergio Martinez negotiating. And I was like, still a good fight. It's a dangerous fight for Cotto, but a respectable um, challenge. And now I'm hearing from insiders that Sergio Martinez and Miguel Cotto are having a little bit of riff, a little bit of um, trouble making the fight. And it's all based on ego. No, not me, not my name. Egos. So from what I'm hearing, there's a lot of little discrepancies as far as who gets to come out first, who gets to walk out first, who gets to walk out second, how they're going to bill it and do the hashtags. Is it going to be Cotto Martinez or Martinez Cotto? So I want to spend some time talking about this, give my insight. Um, the basic argument is this. Sergio Martinez is the lineal champion. He feels he's taken on tough challenges, worked his way up, um, and he's the lineal champion. He beat Matthew Macklin. He beat... Darren Barker beat Chavez Jr. He beat Martin Murray, lineal champion, reestablished himself. So he feels he's the bigger force to be reckoned with, and Cotto should meet his demands. It's his weight class. He's the lineal champion. He's a certified star in his mind as well. Then you have Miguel Cotto, who is like the people's champion. He's a boxing favorite. Lots of people love him. He still gets a lot of support. I mean, he had a tune-up fight with Delvin Rodriguez that did over $1 million in terms of ratings on HBO. So the man has managed his career effectively. His fans are loyal. They've stuck by him. He's probably the number three pay-per-view guy behind Mayweather and Pacquiao. And he feels he's the bigger star. So now this is what they're running into. This is the roadblock of determining who's the bigger draw and who um, deserves top billing and all kinds of shit. Kind of reminds me of, um, if you guys remember Batman, the old one from 1989, with Tim Burton. Um, Michael Keaton was playing Batman. Jack Nicholson played the Joker. And Jack Nicholson wanted his name top billed. He said, I've been doing this. I've been goddamn doing Like, he felt he'd been acting for longer and he was the bigger star. So eventually they made Batman and had Jack Nicholson with the top billing. So if you watch the movie and you watch the credit, it says Jack Nicholson. Like the Joker's name comes up before Batman's name. And that's just based on the amount of clout or pull that Jack Nicholson had to do the role or whatever the situation is. So that's similar to what we're facing here. Um, my thoughts, I think unequivocally, without a shadow of a doubt, Miguel Cotto is the bigger fighter. He's the bigger draw puts asses in the seats and he has more star power i don't even think that could be disputed i'm not talking about who's gonna win the fight or who's the better fighter or anything skills or in, i'm talking about drawing power star power and just look at the numbers miguel cotto versus austin trout austin trout was very little known as well um he was an undefeated fighter at madison square garden that had a thirteen thousand attendance um in that fight, Sergio Martinez fought at the same venue, Madison Square Garden, against Macklin, and it did a little bit over 4,000. It did under 5,000. So definitely Cotto, Cotto, Cotto. Some could argue that, oh, Miguel Cotto, he's Puerto Rican. There's a high Puerto Rican base in New York, and that's his second home. So that's why his numbers were skyrocketed. But I tell you this, I guarantee if you have Mayweather, Pacquiao, shit, maybe even Canelo at Madison Square Garden, you're going to see a good turnout. Just the Mayweather and the Canelo, the one promo in New York was bananas. It was crazy. They had confetti and people. It, it, it was ridiculous. So I think Cotto's a bigger draw. Um, I don't know who deserves top billing. and I just want to see them fight. So I typically don't even really care about all the um, shenanigans and who comes out personally. I think sometimes the ring entrances are doing too much, like bringing Bieber out or um, rapping on your way out or whatever the situation. Sometimes I just want to get to the fights and they have like 40 national anthems. 
So unless you're going to do like Prince Nassim Ahmed and have this crazy ring entrance and do flips and fireworks and rocket launchers and shit, then I'd rather you just walk straight to the ring. So I personally don't care who comes um, out first and who comes out second. I don't think it proves anything because at the end of the day, you got to lace them up and fight that man. So I'm sure there's been a lot of people who walked out second and came out first in terms of the victory. So I don't really care about that. Hopefully they iron out the bugs, get this fight cracking because I want to see it. Let me know what you guys think. Sergio Martinez and Miguel Cotto facing some roadblocks making this fight happen. Who deserves top billing? Who's the bigger star? Let me know if you agree with me, disagree. Leave a comment. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off.